at one time even threatened with extinction by poachers and uncaring governments. But thanks to the Rhino Ark, a group of volunteers who made it their personal mission to ensure the survival of the species, the animal is no longer on that list. Rhino Ark has organised a weekend off-road car race to test the strength and endurance of man and machine. After more than 10 years of annual events, the organisation has raised over $1 million and the rhino is now able to roam freely in the Aberdare National Park in central Kenya. The park provided 80% of water to Nairobi, but it was under threat from poachers and illegal loggers. There were also retaliatory attacks against wildlife by humans for crops damage or human lives lost. The event attracts adventurers of all ages from around the world, from 18 to 80 year olds, with hundreds of families and friends supporting. Teams take part in all kinds of vehicles and well-known rally enthusiasts from Kenya are joined by teams from as far apart as South Africa and Britain. And it's not just a men only sport, women are also among the competitors. We have got muscle. Wow. We definitely have muscle. <laughs> the teams set off at dawn with 10 hours of difficult driving ahead of them to reach all checkpoints by the shortest possible route, testing endurance, engineering and navigational skills. We could, could be going a little quicker, but uh, we're learning. We're, we're virgins, we're rhino virgins. The winner of the event is the team that manages to compete the course with the least distance recorded. It's very tough. It's always tough. I, I don't know what to say, I'm too tired. At the notorious gauntlet, competitors took time to repair and service battered vehicles before resuming their quest. And I think we're doing pretty well. We've done the gauntlet, so the toughest part is gone now. The others, I think the last seven should be able to do it pretty good. The challenge does have its dangers and several people were injured and had to be evacuated. A rock fell on top of my foot and I had a crack and I think it's the metatarsal burn on the top that's gone. And then it was what, how many kilometres did we do after that? 